I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Neko Navy by Death Mofu Mofu, which is an amazing name. Neko Navy. So this is um, this is a shoot 'em up uh, localized by uh, Fruit Bat Factory. They bring over lots of really cool shoot 'em ups. Uh, I haven't really. I played this just for a second just to make sure it worked. Because two of the last couple games I tried to play did not work at all! Just, just... Great. Anyway. I don't know which one I want. Which one do you want to even pick, Parker? Which cat? Where'd you go? Which should I pick? What was that? So, I think he wants me to pick the fluffy one. Ow! Don't claw me! Did you want the other one? What are you doing? Clawing at me. <laughs> yeah, this just seemed really cute and I just figured I had to play it. Um, it looks like you get some extra points by being near enemies when you blow up. That's what that brave seems to do. Yeah, I just played this just for a couple seconds and I figured, yeah, this is something I wanted to show. I like shoot ups in general and I figured, I've been a little bit, like, in barely even a hiatus, but I've made less videos lately and, um, there's a lot of shoot em ups that I've been meaning to do. They're freaking toothpastes. Um, there's a lot of videos I've been meaning to do, like some cool shoot 'em ups, and uh, I just get kind of performance anxiety. And I figured, you know what? I, me being kind of bad at a shoot 'em up is still better than most people's like practice experience with a shoot 'em up. So, uh, whatever. I'll, I'll just show them off. Maybe I'll die. Maybe I'll have to do a credit. You know, um, maybe I'll have to put in a credit or something. But. Uh, I just want to show off a bunch of these cool shoot 'em ups, so you know, hopefully you'll, you'll probably see this before my other recent videos. But there's some shoot 'em ups I hope to catch up on. That's right, Parker. Why are you being so nosy? He wasn't nosy last game I recorded. Yeah, this game is out. Uh, I think today when I'll publish this proper, pro probably. I think it comes out like tomorrow. But um, Watcher in the Sky, Melty Heart. Not to be confused with a completely ridiculously named fighting series. Fighting series. Oops. Do I have a bomb? I see ca I see lives. Do I have a- Oop! Yep, I do in fact have a bomb. Where's my bomb counter though? I don't see a bomb counter. Do I expend cats for bomb? I should probably find this out before I- no, I don't seem to expend cats. I do not know how many... Sh how many... I don't know how many bombs I have. I got an achievement, but it's text did not display. That's weird. Or, I mean, I got... I don't know. I'm seeing something weird in the bottom right corner of my screen. It's not all in the capture window, though, so whatever. Speaking of black screens, I, I've been trying to play a couple other games and they, they just display a black screen. Is is this like a known, like an, an NVIDIA driver thing? Is there some weird drivers floating around or... Uh, I searched... Uh, they're freaking caterpillars, of course. Uh, pff, that's how trucks work, right? They just walk with their wheels. I freaking love the enemies in this game, the what I saw of them. Everything just looks super cute. Uh, I just figured I had to check it out. It's got cats, it's a shoot 'em up. I mean, honestly, there was no way I wasn't going to check out this game. But, uh, it seems. It's really charming. But yeah, I played, tried to play a couple of cool games. Games that look cool, at least. Ow. I should have done a bomb. Wait, is that ring my bombs? I'm still completely baffled by this bomb situation. Does that, does that ring mean that I can bomb? I think that ring is my bombs. Yeah, the ring is my bombs. Okay. Ow. Okay, save your bombs for that stuff. That seems a little unfair. I don't know. I'm not sure. Monster Black Lily. <laughs> Happiest boss you'll ever see. Um, so yeah, that ring meter thing is my bombs. Ow. Okay, let's try that again. I... I understand a bit better now. Uh, I don't care. Top 10 fighters, blank, Se <laughs> uh, 
Of course, somebody would be named Sex. But why not Ass? You gotta be Ass. Steam and local. Uh, so that's the real. I've seen a lot of this gray cat. Actually, we've seen a decent mix. There's unlockable cats and stuff, apparently. I don't have any, though. Uh, let's just keep going on normal, I guess. Let's try... Moogie. First part. But anyway, yeah, I keep getting... I just get a black screen on some games, and, uh... They even show it in my capture window if I set it up. So, like, the game's, like, trying to run, and, like, it, uh... Well, it is running, but it just doesn't display. I don't know if that's something weird. I mean, it's obviously something weird, but... I don't know if it's specific to the game, or, like, if Nvidia's having a driver flip out, if Windows is doing something weird. But, I mean, it's not all games. This game is full screen, and it's... working fine. Also, I'm grateful for it showing the, uh, hitbox. I don't know if I have a slow button. I don't seem to. This game seems pretty minimal in terms of... I didn't see, like, a, too many options to set. Um, there was an options menu. I mostly just... I forget what was in it. Mostly languages. I think you can set the window size. Uh, there's unlockable cats. I know that much. I don't know if anything else is really unlockable or whatever. It seems, it seems like a simple, fun, shoot up kind of deal. Oh, that seems a bit more localized than the other cats thing. I like that the game calls you brave. More games should do that. And look at that fluffy tummy! Don't you just want to pet it? That is an amazing detail. I'm, so, I'm really in the mood for shooting models. I'm gonna catch up on a bunch. I just get, like I said earlier, I get performance anxiety, and I just need to let that not happen. And, uh, just do some stuff, just show some cool games. That's why people come to my channel, I hope. Some people, I don't know why they come to my channel, because some people seem very confused that I play games that are not Call of Duty or Minecraft. I never really understood that, like, if you want to find somebody that plays Minecraft, you can do that, my friend. Trust me, you you will never run out of Minecraft videos if you want to go and look for Minecraft videos on YouTube. You really don't need to ask me to play Minecraft. I did play Minecraft, by the way. Um, I have like a few dozen videos of it um, way back when, like 2012. Before you kids and your your enchantments and your your Ender Dragons and your Ender Men even. Um, in fact, I stopped playing right around the. Uh, Halloween update. I never really liked the nether. I love the idea thematically, but it was really unpleasant, frankly. And then there's the, the enchantments and stuff, and I don't know. It, it kind of verged a little bit too far away from what I enjoyed from it. I kind of enjoyed Terraria more. They're different games, but uh, I always felt Terraria felt better from a... Uh, like, they both ended up focusing more on combat than I was hoping they would. But I feel like Terraria's combat was more enjoyable. This isn't really related to this game at all. Oh, I see. Okay, I see how that works. I guess that's less than that so than I thought. That's my... So I think the cat heads do in fact fill... The cat heads fill my meter. So you can bomb a lot in this. I don't know if bombing has a score penalty at all. I don't think so. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if those things are death on contact or what. I want to be a little bit careful. Oh! I say right before exploding. Follow what Tap Tap says, not what Tap Tap does. Whoa. Ah! Ah! Yeah, that was getting too close. All right, now we're talking. Yeah, take that, you, stu you stupid happy plant. Kill all plants. Plants are evil. They don't even have feelings. Sorry, plants upset me. All right, level three. <laughs> Day three, medication. 
And sometimes after I get mad at plants and attempt to destroy them, you know, they want me to take my medication. I don't want to take my medication. Look at the plants outside laughing at me. This is why. This is why they have to burn. Look at them. So smug with their petals. Their energy from the sun. Oh, look at you, human. Oh, we're at the vet. Oh, no! It's even worse than my medication. Why are there buff torsos on sticks? I've never seen a buff torso on a stick. At, at my doctor. I don't know if... I don't know what kind of doctor you all might have. Bring your health insurance card. Um... Wait, are there razors? Blades? Ah, I got distracted by the razor blades inside of these bodies. Why do they have razor blades inside them? I guess maybe it was just supposed to be like random junk. Whatever. I should probably really start on on uh, easy, but uh, I'm stubborn. Oh hey, we beat sex. I am officially better than sex and a blank space. Wait, that blank space is me. I think. Yeah, that blank space is me, but this game isn't out yet, so it's not really that impressive. But, um, look at that happy little face. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna see how far we get on EC. And we're gonna try the last cat. Good luck. So what do the boxes do? I don't understand. Are the boxes just points, I guess? It's only the bosses seem to have them. Alright, what's my bomb? Alright. Give me something to bomb. If that works. Ooh! It's like a power amplifier. Okay. I think the, the fluff cat has the best bomb. The, uh, the blue one. <laughs> Enemy design this game so good. Toothpaste man. Also, I just realized cat faces are different from my score. What do. How does that. I don't understand. Does that matter or. Because, like, it's. The, the cat face count is not my bomb count, the bomb count is the ring. Because it should have started on easy. It, there's no shame in starting on easy on shooters, by the way. That's just kind of how you're supposed to approach them. If you, you know, if you really genuinely just enjoy starting on hard mode or whatever, you know, do what you enjoy. But don't feel like, you know, you're lame for starting on easy. It's how to design. You're designed to, you know, work your way up and replay multiple times. And you're supposed to get better and better. It's not like... Like, a lot of games, you know, they kind of fake you out into thinking you're really good just by making the very first area, like, super pathetically easy. And shoot 'em ups you know, they don't really, that's not really in there, you know. They don't have, you know, they have too, much, too many scruples for that, so they're like, hey, no. Uh, you can play on easy and you'll enjoy yourself and you'll, you know, get better at the game. And so on. I, th I think... Both game players and game devs can be a lot better regarding difficulty. Like, I want honest difficulty options, I want difficulty options. I used to think difficulty options were bad, but through mostly through shooters, I've come to realize, no, they can be extremely great. Uh, it's just, you gotta design them right. I really like how um, Legend of Dark Witch 2 has uh, really good difficulty options. Uh, it, it uses the word casual, which I think should generally be avoided just because people have so many stupid precon you know, preconceived notions about casual. Uh, I do think it's okay for things to be casual, and I think it's an okay word. It should be an okay word to use, but it has that weight, and I think you should avoid it just because of the BS people have built up around it. But anyway, it has the, the easiest mode is called Very Two Times Easy. Which uh, is ridiculous, but also just kind of shows that hey, this is super super easy, and maybe don't play this unless you like you're really having trouble. Then there's casual, which like I said, I would just call it like easy or normal. Um, then it has expert, and so that's that's the normal difficulty actually is expert, 
but it doesn't call it normal because it wants, like, it's normal difficulty for people that have played the genre before, that have played, you know, beaten most of the classic Mega Man games, or at least a decent amount of Mega Man games in general. Um, it's, you know, sort of normal for that difficulty. And then it has Lunatic Mode, which isn't even unlocked by default. Uh-oh. And, um... Sometimes I wish difficulty options were always unlocked by default, but, uh... Sometimes it really helps players not play something too hard for their skill level if you uh, just prevent them from, you know, playing it until they beat it. And for a game that, where you're going to replay a lot, I don't think it's too bad to lock difficulty levels. I think the only real, the one thing you definitely don't want to do with difficulty levels is you don't want to have trophies related to the difficulty level and have them not stack. So like you beat the game on hard mode and you don't get the trophy for beating on easy mode. Like that's BS. That's just stupid. I don't, don't think that many games do that anymore, but it, on the PS3, it was frustrating. Medication. <laughs> also, there's a pretty great distance between normal and easy, isn't there? Uh, sometimes that's alright. Like, I like it when games go from, like, you know, pretty much anyone can beat it to, you know, real, you know, significant challenge. I'm not really... I wouldn't say that's a bad thing. But uh, sometimes you might want more than even three difficulty levels. But, you know, shoot them up hard, extreme shoot them up hard, and, you know, easy enough for a non shoot -em up player to beat the game. That's pretty much the three difficulty levels that you should always have, I guess, in a game like this. Because that gives you, um... Th that gives you pretty much the coverage that you need, right? But uh, I've appreciated some games that kind of... They have more of a soft ramp, and sometimes games will have, like, dynamic difficulty. And, you know, if you do really good, even on easy, like, uh, what game was that? Gun Den Ligana? Uh, wonderful names, I know. Uh, but that game has, it has easy mode, which, it has a normal difficulty, which is dynamic. And so it just basically scales your difficulty to how well you're playing. It has an easy mode, which locks your difficulty below a certain threshold. And it has a demonic mode, which keeps it at absolute max, no matter what. So, normal mode is really suitable for almost all players and um, easy mode is just really for people who can't handle like or just get frustrated with you know the difficulty ramping up eventually and then they die and then it goes back down so you have a bit more of a consistent experience if you play it on easy but uh, it's also pretty simple and it doesn't really out I should have bombed I always have this thing where I don't bomb in time I really just need to train myself to be more paranoid and bomb earlier. Uh, that's also why I like auto bomb as a difficulty mechanic and kind of an accessibility mechanic in general. It's like I, I very often have a bomb when I take a hit, and I mean it does make the game easier. It, it could technically be said to make, though honestly, ow! I don't think it's a huge deal to make um, auto bomb a thing and have it not like affect score because if you're auto bombing. You're really not going to be getting the best score anyway. I don't think there's any reason to limit that. There was a nun. <laughs> it's close! There's no boss! Wow. Okay. There was a nun. Savage Fest! What? 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 Why are we in a meat locker? There's tiny burbs attacking us. Chubby burbs. This is the amazing sequel to Angry Birds we've all been waiting for. Chubby birds. Screw your flappy birds. We went straight to chubby ones. I feel like Eddie from Silent Hill 2 is just gonna be right around the corner. Frickin' jerk. Why am I destroying the delicious sausage meats? I should be eating the delicious sausage meats. This is not what you do, cat. This is not how to live your life. I love those happy cactus spheres. I don't know what they're doing in a freaking absolutely horrifying, like, meat locker. But, um, they're, they're, just, they're just doing their thing and they're super happy about it. Yeah, expect a bunch more shooters. Um, I won't, I'll try never to, like, saturate with just, like, one genre. Because I play tons of games, so I'll tend to, like, you know... If I play tons of uh, walking sims or whatever, I'll do a few on one week, then, you know, a different kind of game. You know, 
all. I, I try to mix it up on my channel in general. I try to always have a bunch of different stuff for you guys, and uh, yeah. yeah. If you don't really play too many shoot 'em ups, um, I would say this one's reasonably accessible. It's not the most like. It's just got the three difficulty options. Doesn't have dynamic difficulty. Um, I always suggest this, but it's always pretty relevant. Um, I would say Bullet Heaven 2 is probably the ultimate in terms of accessibility, because you can... It has a Flash version that's free that you can play. Uh, it has a Steam version with better... Um, everything, really. Better performance. Meat Man! Live Lump of Flesh. I mean, everything... Every living animal is a live lump of flesh when you think about it. Probably should have waited for him to attack before he did that. He's, he's got- his face is breakfast. He's just, his face is just breakfast. Also, that fork is like blocking things. Is that bacon? Is that a bacon snake? My whole life, I've always wanted to fight a bacon snake. This game finally made it a reality. Oh! No! Oh, I really did- sorry, that was loud. I really did not want to lose before beating this last boss. Well, I, not last boss, but like... Probably gonna be the last boss we see in the video. Yeah, expect some more shoot-em-ups. Uh, Death's Golden Hour. <laughs> what? This game is amazing. But yeah, um, I've been meaning to get to Death's Miles. I did a stream of Death's Miles a long time ago, but um, it came out on Steam and some other um, cave games. Uh, if you like shoot 'em ups, definitely check out. Um, this game is from Fruit Bat Factory. They've been localizing a lot of smaller uh, Japanese Daojin games. That's like indie but Japanese, and um, they end up with lots of shooters. They also do 100% orange juice. If you've heard of it, that's that cutesy anime uh, card game. I actually did a stream of that a while back. When I bring back co-op streams, I'll probably play some more orange juice. Um, yeah, they also localize shooters like this. They have some others. They have some VNs. They have some cool stuff. Um, Degisa Games also um, localizes a lots of shoot 'em ups. They they have caves license. They bring some a lot of the um, you know most famous Gen six and seven shooters. Um, we thought Cave kind of dropped off the map, and so it's been really great to see them come back with uh, Degisa. Um, Rockin' Android also localizes uh, decent amount of shooters. They kind of pop in and out. Um, I think Sekai Project might have like one or two shooters. They have uh, Rabby Ribby, which is like a bullet hell Metroidvania. If you like shoot 'em ups or Metroidvanias, I would strongly recommend that game. Um, there's also um, Playism localizes some shoot 'em ups. They kind of do a, a big slice of Japanese stuff in general. And they also localize non-Japanese games for Japanese audiences, which is cool. They kind of go they go both ways. I guess we're probably going to see this next boss. I doubt think I don't, probably won't beat it though, unless I use my bombs well. Never count on me using my bombs properly though. <laughs> like I, I, I would have lost two less lives against the Meat Man if I had used bombs properly. I'm really sure I could have beat him. But uh, there's just kind of an intimidation factor and a not knowing what you're doing factor when you first play any boss. Oh my god. Watch. <laughs> He's freaking. Fighting freaking Rap Cat over here. Whoa, what? You can refill your bomb while you're bombing? Oh, that. That's pretty intense. Okay, we're gonna beat this boss then. Oh, wait. Am I not hitting the right part? He's <laughs> up! This, this reminds me so much of that Bowser fight in 3D World. It's so weird to see like people hating on 3D World. Like, I've seen a lot of people like, oh, it's not as good as 3D Land. Having played World first, I think it's a lot better than 3D Land. It's just that people wanted something like totally different or something. Like the novelty factor is strong, I guess. Day six in Limbo. It's getting intense. As you can see, I get a lot faster or farther in easy mode, so it's it's a good mix of modes. Ah, sunfish! Best, most ridiculous fish. Uh-oh. What is this? What is this? 
Oh, okay. You can, in fact, you can survive in the corner. Oh, whoa. Okay, things are picking up a bit here. Seems like a mix of all the levels. Is this the last area? So we're starting to see... We're seeing the enemies from the gold level. Uh-oh. I really like that the bomb charges while you're using your normal bomb, though. That gives you... The bomb is a lot more of a safety net, ow, than I thought it would be. Oh, I had a life? I did not even notice that I had a life. I almost... just resigned myself to doom there. We're good. But that's actually really nice, because you can... Fire off a bomb when you can see like a ton of cats on screen, so you can pick them up and you know, you got a second bomb. Anything- DONUTS! Anything that it- whoa. I don't like the donuts anymore! <laughs> what the heck donuts? They betrayed me! Uh, but yeah, anything in a shoot 'em up that makes me less uh, anxious about using my bombs, I like. It's anime! Special guest Umini, who the- I don't know who this is. Certainly has an anime outfit, though. Why, why, why are we fighting anime? Oh no. Okay. Please give me bomb. Oh no. Ah. Oh. The anime was too strong. Oh well. I always knew anime would kill me. It's just a matter of when. Top ten fighters, easy. Daylight savings time. I'm, I have to beat daylight savings time now. Daylight savings time is going down. Worst thing ever. All right, that, that was Neko Navy. That was really fun. Yeah, like I said, expect to see more um, shoot em ups on my channel for a bit um, as I catch up. And just in general, I mean, I, I always, I've shown shoot em ups before, but uh, I just have a pile that I need to get back to. And once again, this is by, um, well, localized by, um, uh, Fruit Bat Factory. They, uh, they localize lots of fun stuff. I always like to give them a shout out when I play one of their games because they're not, they're not super well known. I think a decent amount of people know Degisa because, you know, they have cave stuff. But, uh, support your small, your local Daojin, uh, localizers. Oh wait, let me check the options. I I completely forgot. Oh. I have accolades for something. I don't know what those are for. Uh, full screen, continue on. Well, you can set your key bindings at least. What's training mode? Oh, so there's an extra day. Okay, so anime was not the end of the game. Okay, there's a training mode, game start. I don't know how to know what my accolades are. Maybe those are just Steam achievements. Did I get Steam achievements? I've, earned, I've only earned one achievement. Maybe it's just for getting so far in X difficulty. I don't know. Yeah, that's Neko Navy. Wait, what the? You're not seeing the... Wow. The render, like, went way weird. Whatever. I, I'm done playing anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's not what the game... That's weird. If I start... Oh, it's just the... That's so weird. It's just the... There's supposed to be, like, a city swirling in front of the, uh... Thing. The capture's right when I'm in-game, right? Yeah, okay, never mind, it's fine. That was weird, though. I've been having so many render issues. Never let anybody tell you that YouTubing is easy. Anything involving video production, there's like 18 billion things that can go wrong, and at most one thing that can go right. 